This is the Victor VD300 video doorbell. This is the wireless version. So this does have to go through Wi-Fi. They do make a kit if you contact them. If you want to wire it in directly into your old setup, into your old ringer. But right now you have to use what they have if you don't. See what's in the box. You got a thank you card here. You got the instruction manual. So it gives you all the parts. Has a reset key, the batteries. The installation so you can mount it. Gives you the cable, the ringer, everything you need. Tells you how to install the batteries, how to charge it, how to troubleshoot it, how to set the speaker up and turn on the LED light if you want it. So you got an accessory little box here. There's your batteries. Looks like two 1865s. Yep. So they're 6700 milliamps. These do look like they're tied together. So you can't put these separately like in your own charger. I don't know if I like that. There's your speaker. It's got a little donger back here in the back. It's got a test button here. There's the SD card, it's 16 megabits, it comes with it. It's kind of nice, a lot of people don't do that, you gotta buy that. There's your wall charger. There's installation screws and reset key. Little Allen wrench. There's your charging cable. It does look like it's a C type. Nope, it's a micro USB. You probably have a hundred of those at home already. And there's the video camera. It does have a piece of plastic on it. So there's your button. There's your camera and your your uh, motion detection right there. So this case is what you mount on the wall. It's got a couple screw holes here. Also has one on the bottom, which screws into the bottom of this. So nobody can steal this. The only problem with that is when you need to charge the batteries, you do have to undo that to get to the batteries. It does have a little port on the bottom here. This is where you charge it once you put the batteries in here. You do need a screwdriver to take these two screws out of the back. These little connections up here and back here are if you want to hardwire this into your old system. If you get that kit from them doesn't come with it you have to get it this is really hard to get off so you really do have to pry this to get it up but it will come off and then the batteries go in here the SD card also goes in here so while you're doing this you might want to put that in there too there's a little slot right there on top I'm assuming that the this goes down yes so the metal prongs that are showing the copper prongs go base down. So the top of it is facing the top here. And then the batteries have a plus and minus on there. The minus goes on the bottom. It tells you down here. You can see that the light's red. It's telling you that it needs to be charged. Just put that back on here. Put these screws back in here. And you just need to charge this for about 10 hours overnight. Install this tomorrow. Should be pretty simple. There's only two. I think this actually comes with, it does come with some 3D tape or 3M tape. If you want to tape this on, there's a couple spots you can put it on there. If you want to stick it on somewhere instead of putting screws in your ball, you can do that too. I like that you have options. It's always great. So I'm going to hook these up, charge this. See how it goes. Okay, I just done, got done charging this. There is a red LED light next to the charging port that comes on when you plug it in so you know it's charging. So once you get that done, you have to download the app. If you haven't already done so, you need the Cloud Edge app. It should be on both stores. You do have to sign up for an account if you don't have one. I already had one because I got another device I'm using this for. So it says tap to add. You pick what you want. I'm assuming it says battery camera. It's 
says hold the powered button to start the device. I heard it beep, it's coming on. Get it next to your router, it says. Please reset the device. Wait for the LED light to flash red, which it already is, but I'm gonna do this anyway. So you push this on the side. Hold it for four to five seconds. Like I said, it said wait until that light's flashing. Hit next. It wants to give you permissions to access your location. I'm not sure why it needs that, but I'm going to give it to it. And then you're going to pick your Wi-Fi and then put in your password. And hit next. <clears throat> this will not go on your 5G, so make sure you are on your 2.4 gigahertz network. I was not. So now I'm going to put my password in for that. Hit next. It says remove all the film from the lens. Tap next to show the code. <clears throat> so I didn't do. So you take that off. There's one right on the lens too. You gotta take off. There's a green one. So once you do that, it tells you to push next. It tells you this code. You hold it up to the camera. I heard it whistle. Hit next. Now it's trying to connect to it. See the light turn blue here <clears throat> instead of red, so it must be connecting. There it goes. I found it. It says device found. Done. Now I can connect to it. Wants to know if you're going to use the bell or not. And you can see the camera here. You can see that in here, wherever it's looking at. It's a really good picture. 1080p it should be. You see the battery's not fully charged. You got all your different settings here. So you have your, you can see how wide angle that lens is. That's seen all the way over here. So you got your history, of your calendar, screenshots, all that. You got live. So you can take a screenshot. You can record things. You can see it says record there. You can turn on your motion detection. You also have your little hamburger buttons up there to get into the settings for it where you can change everything. There's the capacity of the card. Now I was looking at this. It does allow you to format it here. In case you haven't or you don't have a computer, you can put it in there. I put it in there right when I got it. I didn't format it. You can see it's formatting it right now. So that's nice if you don't have a computer or some way of getting that out and formatting it. I thought it would have it in here. It tells you to do it before, but you can wait until you get here and put it in there. It'll do it for you. Now it's done. Now you can set your motion detection. Right now it's on low. You have high, low. It says only when people appear. So you can turn that off if you don't want it. You got your cloud storage if you want to use it. Your basic functions, speaker, leave a message, the chime, all that stuff. You can even turn it off whether you receive notifications on your phone or not, or whatever device you got it on. You can share this, so I can add this to my wife so she can have it too. And we're good to go. I just need to install this on a wall. <clears throat>